Welcome back. Uh, we are once again back with Half Life 2. Uh, once again, like that, we should probably, uh, before we start this up, uh, join the Discord now. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, let's continue on with this fucking game. I love it dearly, but I also hate it sometimes. Why is. Am I lagging? I can't tell. I feel like I'm lagging, though, but I'm still getting some controls. I was playing a bunch of Bioshock earlier. That's my excuse. Oh, yep. That's working. Uh, anyways, can I be let through now, please? No? Okay. Ow, okay. Can I be let in, please? I think it saw me. Uh. Okay, open up the door whenever you're ready, guys. Come on, the door. You're fine. You're not hurt. You're fine. I have an energy ball. Oh, there's three of you. What, what, what do we call them? Uh, Jonathan, Carl, and Mark. Four people now. Uh, Jonathan, Carl, Mark, and Bread. No, Brian. That's for names from now on. I need to say, anyways, now we're gonna go fight Striders, which is always fun, as they're like a tanky enemy that's so annoying to fight. Shut off the suppressor and open the gate. We can really move people through now. Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets from across the plaza. You can make it there. You should have everything you need to take down these striders. Oh yeah, I forgot that does like stupid amount of damage as well, like, especially on hard. Yeah, it's better to just run up by it at this point. It, see what I mean? It shot me twice and it knocked off all, like, half my health. It's actually so fun to fight. It shot me twice again, and it knocked off over half my health. They're such fun enemies to fight. We have a rocket launcher. Thank you. It really did not stop firing. Come on, stop, stop shooting so I can shoot you. Uh, literally, I'm unable to peek this fucker because it just does not stop shooting. I'm 
very some of these annoying enemies to fight for this very reason. Also, this one just occasionally just stands here for like five hours and never leaves, just keeps shooting at spot. Back up, please. Go back in, go back in, go back in, please. Okay, it's distracted. We can head back out now. Oh, that was a fucking lie. There goes all my health again. <laughs> did, did you see that? It took off 20 health in a single shot. That one's almost dead, though. One dead, and I think there's another one that spawns after this, but the problem is that now that one's in the way. Literally, it died in the worst possible fucking spot, unimaginably. Here's the thing, you can't walk by those triad corpses. For some reason, they are the, like, the very few corpses in this game that are just impossible to walk through, and it's actually annoying, because if you kill it right there, I'm, I've been disconnected from Xbox Live. Huh? Oh, did, did my fucking whatever it is run out? My Xbox Live Gold run out finally. Please go back in the tunnel. And now it's right there. Am I stuck in here? Probably. Okay, it's dead now, so maybe I can kill this one before the, uh, everything else spawns. I wait for it to leave me alone, and I peek back out and shoot it. I'm just in here with a bunch of corpses and a bunch of rockets. This might be a first. This is probably the first time I've ever actually killed all the striders before I made it over to this second rocket area. And even then, I've never actually made it over to the second rocket area before killing a single strider. For some reason, these guys are just weaker on hard. Maybe maybe it's because the all the rebels survived much longer. Yeah, please move.
Thank you. Here's the last strider. One down and another one to go. Come on, go down. That's the quickest I've actually ever cleared the section of striders before. Usually it usually takes me 20 minutes to clear out that section, but for some reason this was by far the easiest. I still don't like that Striders do a stupid amount of damage. Also now you're at the part of the game where all the enemies just have pulse rifles at this point. Oh, that was stupid. No. I just saw a guy's body despawn in front of me. Anyways, we are finally done with that section. Thank fuck. Now we can leave and go somewhere better. Am I still be able to be heard without fucking Xbox Live or whatever it is? Is my stream properly recording stuff? Hold on, it's it was a black screen for me. Oh, yep. <laughs> you might have heard me there for a second, but yeah, I was just making sure. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, you get traced by another Strider here. There goes all of my health again, because the Strider shot me twice. Health, please. It is literally going to be impossible for me to make it through a section unless I just camp it right here. Come on. Hey, some health. Why did you give me no suit armor? Fuck you. S uh, why no suit power, please? Boxes. Please have health or armor in it. I'll take the health, okay. It's standing there menacingly. Please leave. No, leave. I literally cannot fight you because I will lose all my health in two seconds. Why are you just standing there? Leave!
It's literally just. I'm gonna risk it. Where? Oh, lovely. The Strider's right there. Thank you for helping me, but fuck you. Did I make that jump? Oh, I fucking can. Let's go. We're out of here, baby. Fuck you, Strider. And fuck you. Should I let it live? Yeah, I'm gonna let it live. And... Oh, uh, thank fuck. We're finally done with that section. Now into the next chapter. Oh, wait. I forgot. We have to deal with more Striders. My favorite. Fucking Striders. Hey, move. Move. Fucking move. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can Why can't I kill ground. why can I not kill my own allies? I don't know how the hell we're gonna bring Why was I able to kill people in, in Half Life One? Why was I able to do that then, but not here? We have to get to the horse. Yeah, get to the horse. The title of the, this VOD. That's a strider. Go now. Out of my way, my god, my own allies can get me killed. We wait down here to clear them all out. God fucking of course you have to bob and weave. Not overrun, you're just bad. Reload, Dr. Freeman. Thank you for telling me the obvious. Now we wait for a Strider to leave again. I swear to God, these NPCs, I wish I could kill them. Hey, they're all dead because they. Literally cannot take any da damage whatsoever before dying. I like I went for energy and lost all my health there immediately because fucking striders do 20 damage. Okay, it's leaving. Why, am I, why is there a beeping? Ow. I can't do anything. I'm stuck behind cars. I couldn't do anything there because my game literally got me stuck behind a car. Man, it doesn't help that Striders do a lot of damage to you. I'm back. Go. Fuck my, fuck my teammates.
Okay, we're through that part now. Now up to this fucking... Oh, it's this part where we clear out a bunch of Combine soldiers. I love how my auto-aim for weapons doesn't want to kick in at all when using a Magnum specifically. So I'll just stop using the Magnum entirely. You're probably wondering why I don't use the Magnum at all in any, in any of the videos. This is why. It doesn't auto-aim. You notice how that guy wasn't in the middle of my crosshairs? Like, yeah, that's what the auto aim is for. It's also there in half in, on a PC version of this game. But it has a much more thing because you're on controller. The problem with the mind is for some reason doesn't want to kick in. grenade go now we go now we run now we run you run like a bat out of hell Why did he have a fucking SMG equipped? What? That's the first time I've ever seen a, a normal combine elite soldier, well, a normal well, a combine elite soldier just have a fucking SMG equipped. Why was that fair? Does he does he spawn with that usually, or is that like a rare occurrence? Uh-oh, indeed. Wait for me, A gunship as well? Lovely! I would watch out, but you guys keep getting in my way. Dr. Freeman, I'm coming with you. Cool, die. How is he? How are you not dead yet? Thank you. Oh, you didn't drop your rocket launcher. That's nice. Please stop getting in my fucking way. I lost all my suit there because the, my fucking allies keep getting in my way. What was that? What, explo what exploded? I 
Find it back up here. One down. There goes all my health again. Thank you. I sure do love losing all my health in two shots. Once again, I love this game, but sometimes I fucking hate it. Who? I do not need your help, though. You head for the horse, of course I am. Take this med kit. Move. Anyways, we are now into the final chapter of this game. Well, about to enter it. This chapter is full of, for the first half, nothing but rides. Yeah, well, she is. Thank you, Barney, for Black Mesa. By the way, if anyone uses the excuse, oh, just don't take damage, uh, I would like to see you do a playthrough of that chapter entirely without taking any damage. <laughs> That's my counter-argument. I will tell Dr. Breen that, that you said fuck you. Anyways, on to actually what is an easy chapter, because it just gives you a bunch of health and a very powerful weapon. That you don't even touch... That you barely get any time to play with before it's taken away from you from you immediately. I heard a head crab. I played through this section a lot on Gmod. So I know how to get through it. Not the entire chapter, mind you. I just know most of it. At least this opening bit. Because I played through a lot of it. That's a dangerous way of doing that, but fuck it. Like, you also keep getting stuck on walls, which usually does not happen. But then again, I am on controller. Uh, do not go into that thing, that because that thing will immediately fucking kill you. Go into this one, because this one does not immediately fucking kill you. What are these yellow wires? Are they power? Tubes? They seem to be like tubes. Oh no, the land of turret! I yawned. What's currently occurring? This hellscape of that is my server was. You should join. It's linked on the community tab. What's that ping? Oh.
Where do all the other ones go? I wasn't paying attention. Did they just disappear in front of me, or did they, like, get taken off the rails or something like that? Oh, but yeah, this is most of this chapter. Literally just getting carted around. Then we have a boss battle at the end. Well, you can call it a boss battle. It's really not a boss battle. If anything, it's more of an annoyance. Because if you die, you have to go start all over again. I mean, this is neat and all. I don't know what any of this is doing. I'm going to talk about how my day went. My day so far has not been too good. Mainly because I got into a fight with some friends on Discord. I will not be talking to, to them for for at least the rest of the day, maybe even the rest of the week, because I do not want to... Because, well, I don't think I really need to mention this, but I do not control emotion well. And I do not feel like getting, to, getting myself in bigger shit with them than I, I already am. But then again, it kind of, some of it was kind of their fault, to be honest. They didn't give me a fucking word, warning. But then again, we are all we all are biased, and if you deny that you're biased, then you are literally just being biased, because everyone usually thinks for themselves. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah, stalkers. Fun fact: those are humans. Their their life is just constant fucking pain. Anyways, yeah, fun fact about the gunships: we don't gunships and, gunships, striders, and hunters seem to be like from around the same world of Combine Conquered. But then again, it's not really known since, well, we don't know much about them. Yeah, those are all prisoner pods that we saw in, like, Nova Prospect. Oh, here we go. We get the most powerful weapon in the entire fucking game. You can literally free shot a, uh, Strider of this, which is more than the Rock Launch does. Which is why, sadly, we must be departing with Half-Life's iconic weapon. Let's look at it one last time. Before it's taken from us. Also, apparently it's Valentine's Day. I don't fucking know that. I just start streaming this on this day. I don't really fucking care, though. It's a holiday I really do not care for it much, mainly because it's centered around loving s of like love and like partners stuff like that, and I do not have either of those. I still love people, just that I literally just have no one. I, I have family and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to just show more appreciation tor towards them. Shut the fuck up! Didn't, that combine lead didn't give us didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> I like how he sounded angrier that time, and it's probably just because I keep running past his beaches that he has planned. Button. I get the health. Yep. Here we go. This is why this chapter is so fucking easy. Do I have to explain more? All of them are dead at once. Jesus Christ. Right, just so he can't speak to me. Didn't even take damn. I saw that red flash. Who's behind me? Why is this healing as well? I don't know. What's the lore implication? Just 
shut the fuck up. Gordon being shot at. They even mean to shoot that ball at you. Who? Where? Oh, up there. I'm so glad I was communicated to me in an easy, no, to no way where I was being shot from. Never heard from again. Where's this fucking elevator? Where's the fuck is the elevator? You. No, I'm gonna retreat definitely. Uh, JK. I didn't mean to go in here yet. I wanted to get my health. I didn't know if I stepped on it, I would go up immediately. He should have ran. Where? Why'd that grab that? He could, he had plenty of time to dodge that. That's on that's on him right there. He had plenty of time to like move out of the way. Who? What? Where? Oh. Oh, god fucking damn it, of course, right at the end. Now I go grab all this health and we'll just through that entire sec- two minute, like, two to three minute section AGAIN! It would also help if, like, I was able to see where, like, these and they didn't blend in perfectly. Like, you try and tell me that there's, like, a thing up there, like, you can tell where the bridges are, but you can't tell where, like, these other ones are. Like, there's a room right there that you can't fucking see because it blends in perfectly. Not get to live. Why is it just immediately kill them, like just grabbing them? Like, you try and tell me that there's a fucking room right there that I was able to go through. We're all dead. Are we going up to that one? We are. God damn it. Hello. Tell me, Doctor Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one 
Yeah. <laughs> I finally shot that one. Now you now got to finish a speech there. God damn it. Person? Just stop running at me. Like, stop coming after me. That's like your main problem. <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. You just turned a corner and got sh Just stop fucking going after me. Let me go kill your boss. Do not care. Hey, we're gonna meet the Strider here. How terrifying must this be to like the Combine soldiers? This man who has been renowned for surviving the impossible just casually just walking through. Oh, it dodged it. Yeah, I forgot the Striders can fucking do that. I think I broke its AI. Fucking lovely. I peeked once and immediately fucking died. I sure do love it doing 200 damage to me per second. I have laid the foundation of humanity's survival. Yeah, no, but why do shards do much so much damage on hard? Like, I couldn't dodge that there. That's stupid. I'm most likely fucked here as well. But yep, I was fucked there as well because my fucking cover was gone and the fucking strider does so much damage. Again, it should not do... It literally can rip through my armor in like two seconds. It's actually stupid. Even on hard, that's stupid. Also, I thought this fucker only had three shots, or is that just on normal? On hard, does it just take all the hits in the world like a normal Strider? There we go. Where is it? Took me five minutes to get through this room, because Striders do way too much damage. Yes. It's absolutely fucking worth it. Fuck you, Dr. Breen. No one likes you. Okay, now they just wait through this section, which is basically just a five minute long cutscene. Well, this cutscene's pl well, this cutscene that's like basically five minutes this playing out. I'm gonna go use my every.
what happened? I was gone. Oh, we're still in this cutscene that's five minutes or so long. Oh, yeah, look. Th these are all the enemies that are never in the game. They show us they show us them, but they actually are not in the game. Originally, they were planned to be in the game, but they just never are. I think they were supposed to, They were teased here, so they were supposed to be, like, teased for, like, the probably one of the episodes, but just were never added. The Hunter, mind you, was teased in Episode 1, and then at the beginning of Episode 1 of Half-Life 2, and then was finally shown at the beginning of Half-Life Episode 2. Probably made no sense there. Anyways. Wow, very cool. Do not care, though. Dark Energy, the final, the final, final chapter. Well, this is the final chapter. I don't know why they didn't start earlier. But yeah, this is it. I'll take him from here. Most of this chapter is one big cutscene, though. Don't struggle. It's fuck no you. Use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. What is he doing sorry, here? Gordon. Did you just clip through me? What the fuck? Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Are you two fighting like all that? Are you two bickering like two co workers? Good God. Ah, yes, it's me. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? Oh, that's a powerful weapon. You should probably take it. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First, you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, then, you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh? Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Well, I don't first, care what's you happening here. Everything we need in that regard. You are more than qualified to I wonder who's in that pod. It couldn't be the person who was taken last stream, which you should go watch on my YouTube channel. Rebel in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Hi, Alex. Alex. Dad. Gordon? Yeah, I'm here. God damn Fuck you. you. you let her go? Yeah, it's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child a chance your mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even... <laughs> the smile on his face when she did Alex, that. My dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It Bye. Necessary. It, it absolutely it is. Total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control. I am very manipulable. <laughs> I'm listening already. Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? You got to talk to G Man though about that. I absolutely would. Discuss this in front of your friends. 
I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Don't do it. I'm. I have a good thing going here. I'm so sorry, Alex. Don't. No. No. Ju Judith, what do you think you're doing? Yeah. We're stop, please. I would like to get out of my contract with G-Man, please. Yes. Uh, listen, Doctor Bean, get the papers over here really quickly. I want to sign the contract so I'm out. So I don't have to work for G-Man anymore. Please, they Brain. You betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Doctor Horseman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. Breen, please, grab the papers. I'll sign them right away. Hurry. Ah, God damn it, Breen. Well, I guess I'm gonna go, I gotta kill a man. Watch out, he's gonna... Hey, Breen, don't do that. God, God damn it, I was so close. Man, his office was so nice, now it's all destroyed. Thanks to you, fucks. Look after my father. Don't you worry. I'm bringing his chair. How do you do this? How do you do the, like the chair jump or whatever it is? I forget. Oh. We haven't known each other very long. I do not care. I have a chair. Fuck you. God damn, I was close again, but I got stuck. I can't destroy these. Uh, can we? Can you let me through now? I love keyboards. Powering the what? Then let's go kick his ass. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. It's up to me again. Don't forget to charge up your I won't. Fuck you. Huh? Look where I'm through. Grab this one, god damn it. What the fuck? Oh great. A one bounced off from behind and went back in. Lovely. I probably would have gone through if I was able to grab the one that it would allow me to, but for some reason I kept grabbing onto the other ones on the other side. Oh, I got a lesson for this whole speech again. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be based in deadly particles instead of the I don't know what you can possibly hope to achieve apart from your own annihilation. 
They got fucked up. Kobe. I'm trying, but this you can only go up a fucking elevator like this so quickly. Well, I gotta wait for this to go down again. Come on, let me back up. How the hell are you guys see me? You, Breen. You oh yeah, Barney went, wanted me to tell you something. He wanted me to tell you, fuck you. I would love if it would grab onto one of these balls. Do I have to do all that again? It's Dr. Green. There he is. Oh, you're fucking it's kidding. Dr. There's no Freeman. checkpoint up. That's really stupid. That's there. actually fucking stupid. The game fucked me over there because I wouldn't grab any of the energy balls. Yeah, yeah, fucking go. Can we get on with... I gotta wait for this to go up. Do not throw me off. I'm trying, but I can't really go fast on this thing because I'm tied to how fast it wants to go. God, why is it so slow? Now I'm gonna save the game right here in case I fucking die again, because the game hates it when you don't actually... Because the game only gives you, like, so many saves, especially at the bottom of this fucking arena. Hey, I did it. You need me. I do not. You did it. Come on, Gordon. We've got to get out of here. Maybe we still have. Oh no, it's him again. Doctor Freeman. Is it? I can still kill myself. Huh. <laughs> 
No, he blocked me from killing myself. You only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. Oh, his, his position is tied to like my so camera supposed to be. So there. look at this. I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. Fuck you. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not. I really should have read the contract. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Anyways, that's Half-Life 2. I'm going to put a poll up to see if I should do the episodes after this or not. What are my thoughts on the game? The game itself is good. I won't lie. Story, gameplay, all that's fun. However, playing this on hard was a fucking nightmare. Mainly for me. And mainly the final part of the game. Ravenholm was a bit bullshitty with the zombies not dying and immediately when I'm at point blank range with a shotgun. And, well, the entire last chapter was just not not the one I was just on dark, not dark energy, but, uh, the entire last chapter of all the Striders was also somewhat bullshit because they just do so much damage to you. Literally, it, on normal, you can take like a few hits from it. They still do damage, but they don't do a whole lot where it's unreasonable. On hard, it's basically, hey, you're out in the open. Well, bye, bucko. Half your health's gone. I don't know if they play tested hard or thought this would be good, but honestly, I would prefer if there's just a hard and then a very hard mode or whatever because... That's what this felt like. It felt more like a very hard mode than it would a hard. Uh, anyways, story is good. It's a sh shame that Valve took forever to release another game, essentially, in the Half-Life series. And I am somewhat excited, because they're mostly going to be using Source 2 to produce Half-Life 3 and all their upcoming games, which, from what I've, from what I've seen... And well, we got we already saw on Half Life Alex, which is using Source Two, looks really fucking good. So I I am excited. But I don't know if they're gonna make an announcement. I don't know when we're gonna make an announcement. Hell, who knows? Maybe tomorrow they're gonna make an announcement that we're working on Half Life Three. That'd be a treat. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, that's basically all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have all my previous VODs there, and there's really no reason not to, as you can see me being a worse gamer on other games. Uh, follow me on Twitch. There, once again, no reason not to, and you can yell at me in real time about me being bad at games. Uh, the Discord. I also have a link on, on my YouTube channel community page for my Discord. There's no reason not to join it. Uh... Man, you can also yell at me there. We don't really have much going on other than just some drama we're discussing. Oh, the best head crab. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Uh, but yeah. That is it for all of this, essentially. It's over. And by the way, just for, so everyone knows, because uh, I don't think many people... I don't think... So, some, a lot of people know this, but just in case you don't know, I'm playing on the orange box, so... Not Steam or anything like that. I think it should be pretty obvious I mainly play on Xbox. <laughs> I was thinking about trying to play TF2 on this, but the servers are all dead because no one plays TF2 on the orange box on the Xbox at all. But yeah. I don't know what else you guys expect to happen later down, down the road, but uh, I'll get to working on another poll up and see if I should and if we shouldn't we're actually running low on games uh Bioshock for example I Bioshock was originally going to be the game that would hold us out for a long time
However, I also noticed another thing that could be bad. Bi Bioshock and Borderlands have 2K produ producing them or whatever. So, and I wasn't able to stream Bioshock, so I don't know. I'll have to do some research. I don't think Borderlands should be affected because, unlike Bioshock, I was able to actually record game clips and stuff like that on Borderlands for pre-sequel. So, let's hope that that holds out because I do hope it works out all, though. And once again, finally, thank you all for massive support on these Half-Life vid 2 videos. In fact, well, I got flashbang there. Uh, what's the most pro what's the most popular one do doing right now? How well is it doing? The most popular one was literally the Raven Home one, the one where I complained the most of it, everyone. It's currently at 98 views, so yeah, thank you all so much for that. Just thank you in general. For some reason, occasionally a series I play through will blow the hell up, but I don't know why. For example, Jedi Fallen Order blew up near the end. Doom also blew up with almost all my videos having more than 10 art. 10 views and a few of them actually surpassing 100 but yeah in general thank you all for the massive support recently brings me the happy brings me the happy chemical serotonin but yeah thank you all for watching and goodbye